Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Soy Guadalupe Venturo y bueno, David acaba de llegar a Perú. Vamos a tener un tour súper emocionante porque vamos a ir a Machu Picchu. Vamos a hospedarnos en el Hotel Sumac, que es como muy, muy top. El de, definitivamente es como el único top en Machu Picchu. Después vamos a ir a una montaña. Ya les vamos a mostrar toda la aventura extrema que es porque vamos a escalar una montaña. Eh, es un restaurante como muy bonito, muy lujoso, eh, que está muy alejado del pueblo de Ollantaytambo. Y bueno, después vamos a ir a Lima, vamos a conocer un poco de Lima. Y David, espero se lleve la mejor impresión de Perú. Y espero que a ustedes también les encante este episodio de él. So I'm here in Miraflores in Lima. So it's my first full day here. So I'm going to go for a quick run right now. No better way to get to know a place that you're unfamiliar with than to go for uh, go on a jog. So I'm gonna hit a quick workout after this jog, but for right now, I'm gonna try to experience and explore a little bit of Miraflores. this about halfway through my run in Miraflores, a little bit of exercise equipment. One of the things I've noticed is that it's about the population here and the people here is that everyone seems to be very active on their bikes, running, and it just goes to show you that no matter where you are in the world, there's a fitness culture out there and there's really no excuse to not maintain your wellness on your journeys around the globe. So that's what this is about. That's what we're doing here. So let's finish up this run and stay strong. Uh, about done with our cardio session here and I came across this park Parque de, de Amor Park of Love and this sculpture is called El Beso The Kiss and it is a pretty uh, significant landmark here in Lima and Miraflores so when you're in Lima definitely come check it out it's just a really relaxed spot and the views are second to none so come check it out when you're in Lima The city of Lima was not always the capital of Peru. The city of Cusco was previously the capital prior to the invasion and colonization of the Spanish Empire. The city of Lima was founded in 1535 as the Ciudad de los Reyes, City of Kings. It was made the capital due to its location along the coast, making it more conducive to maintain communication with Spain. 
Peru declared its independence from Spain in 1821, and since that time, Lima has developed into a competitive modern city. Like many other capitals around the world, Lima leads the way when it comes to its political, economic, and cultural influence over the Peruvian way of life. Machu Picchu is a well-preserved wonder of the ancient Inca Empire. It is tucked away in the rocky countryside just northwest of the town of Cusco. This ancient city is believed to have been constructed at the height of the Inca Empire sometime in the mid-15th century. Historians and archaeologists believe the site was constructed as a royal estate for nobles, emperors, and other royal subjects of the Inca Empire. This cannot be confirmed, however, since there are dozens of theories surrounding the purpose of Machu Picchu, ranging from a religious site to a prison. The site was discovered in 1911 by an American archaeologist, and excavation began from that point forward. 
Most experts agree that the site was likely never touched by the Spanish invaders, and this is partially why Machu Picchu is so well preserved. Experts also agree that there was a mass exodus from Machu Picchu sometime between the 15th and 16th century. Evidence suggests the site was abandoned very quickly, but no one can be sure as to why, and it remains a mystery to this day. Machu Picchu is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in addition to being one of the new seven wonders of the world. It hosts hundreds of thousands of visitors each year. The mystery surrounding this place adds to its allure and leaves so much to the imagination as far as what occurred so many years ago that forced such a large group of inhabitants to abandon this incredible city. And that, if you look down below, it's the same river that we saw this morning. So this river just goes around this way in a picture mountain after it goes into the Amazon River. So the Amazon River is starting in Peru, just change different names in different places. Imagine in the rainy season, that river is very high, very dangerous. Machu Picchu, it was built in the middle of the 15th century, 1440s, 1450s. According to the archaeologists, you know, Pachacute, who was the most important king of the Incas Empire, he started to be a king in, the, uh, in 1438, approximately, you know. So after him, Machu Picchu was planning and started to build. How many years? Between 70 and 100 years, approximately, Machu Picchu was built. So that city, it was before, you know, like a religious, administrative, and political place. So the more percent of people they were living here in Machu Picchu before it was just yes, like the nobles, the royalties. So into the urban sector, Machu Picchu is dividing in two sections, upper and lower. Who was living in the upper part, the noble peoples? Who was living in the lower part, the lower class peoples? Workers, servants. So all kinds of people, they were living here in Machu Picchu, but different places, different levels. So finally, nowadays Machu Picchu is one of the new seven wonders of the world since 2007. cuento que estamos en nuestros últimos minutos en el pueblo de Machu Picchu. Esto es Machu Picchu Pueblo y la ciudad antigua es el Machu Picchu. Entonces en un principio nosotros pensábamos que esto se llamaba Aguas Calientes, pero es Machu Picchu Pueblo. Entonces ya de aquí en una hora sale nuestro tren y nos vamos a ir al otro hotel, que es un hotel en la montaña. Es como si fuera en esta montaña, como unas cápsulas pero es como de lujo, como que hay jacuzzi, absolutamente buena vista, vamos a ver la constelación, las estrellas, todo perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. O sea, si quieren visitar un lugar así, como que les gusta mucho la naturaleza, sería perfecto visitar eh, este lugar a donde vamos a ir y las vamos a mostrar. Ya en una hora va a llegar nuestro tren, ahora de hecho estamos tomando como chicha morada, que es como muy, muy de Perú y maracuyá. Ya David les va a mostrar un trago ahí que es también muy rico de Perú. So we're about to head out and Lupe ordered um, this dish. It's called cuy and it's a Peruvian dish and it is essentially guinea pig. The last few minutes in the town of Machu Picchu, which is also known as Aguascalientes. It's known as Aguascalientes because of the name of the river essentially that goes through the town. Uh, and for its hot springs, but the people here refer to it as Machu Picchu Pueblo. So it's been a great experience to come here. It's been a great experience to see Sumac and experience that hotel. They were great to us. The service was great. So if you're coming here to uh, Machu Picchu, it's a great option. Uh, we're about to get on our train to go to the town, back to the town of Ollante Tambo where a representative from this Sky Luxury Suites is gonna pick us up. I've been anticipating that for a while. That is where the hotel is gonna be essentially a capsule on the side of a cliff. So 
We're gonna be staying there tonight. They have an entire itinerary already planned out for us. So again, if you're coming to Machu Picchu, that's another great option. We're about to see that in just a few minutes, but we're experiencing the last few minutes of the town of Machu Picchu. Here at the gym, uh, I have it all to myself. Let's check it out. All right, so Amalia just got here. She's gonna help me finish off this workout. Voy a entrenar femorales y glúteos. En realidad me vas a entrenar tú. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be doing a leg circuit. Again, I'm finishing up with my upper body circuit. And once more, this is just to give you a point of reference. This is just to motivate you to make the most of your travels and make wellness a priority. Let's finish strong. Don't forget to check out part two of this two-part episode that will be coming to you very soon. In the second part of this episode, we'll be exploring a different part of Peru, including the city of Cusco, and my personal favorite, the Vertical Sky Luxury Suites that's located in the mountains above the town of Ollatain Tambo. I can't wait, and we will see you on the next one.